Hi, I'm Seth Marty. Welcome back. Today I want to show you how to record electric guitar with two microphones, an amp and a DI signal. Okay, so here is the amp and the two microphones. It's a Marshall MG series 100 TFX and the first microphone is a dynamic and the other one is a ribbon mic which is the RB100 from T-Bone and the idea behind recording an amp with two microphones is pretty simple you wanna get a crisp but also a very um, fat and um, low end sound that you won't capture with just one microphone so the first microphone is a little bit more at the center of the amp or towards the cone and the other one when you move out a little bit more um, on the outside of the amp you get this really massive low end sound but also a little bit of a dull sound and when you combine those two signals um, you get this very rich low end but also crisp um, tone out of your amp and as usual you have to um, work with mic placement so for example you could move the mic even more towards the center of the cone and the other one a little bit more outside um, so you have to fiddle around with it to get a perfect tone so it's uh, a process of record, listen back, record, listen back and um, for me I usually have the dynamic microphone for example, here is the center, just slight off center, um, about I would say one inch away from the amp itself. And the other one, which is the ribbon microphone, is I would say two inches away from the dynamic one. And I'm pretty happy with that tone at the moment. Um, but you have to try it out yourself because every amp is different and every microphone is different. Okay. So let's record some guitar. Okay, so back with the guitar. Um, everything is hooked up um, to my mixing board. Um, I have on the one channel the dynamic microphone and on the other one the ribbon mic. And now I'm going to show you how the dynamic microphone sounds. ribbon one and both together could try it also with the with an overdrive like an overdrive pedal or the overdrive channel of the amp and again the dynamic microphone and the ribbon mic again both together okay and that's my approach to recording electric guitar with an amp and two microphones and now we're gonna head over to um, the more basic DI um, version of recording electric guitar all right, so recording electric guitar with um, just NDI, which probably most of you have some kind of audio interface, which comes with built-in preamps. And for example, I have the PreSonus Fire Studio Project, um, three of them. And the first 
two inputs are mic pre's and also instrument ins. Um, so this is a high set input and you just can plug your electric guitar in and you're ready to go. Okay, now here is the recorded signal again without the amps um, simulation. Which is a normal DI signal and we're going to launch the Logic and Designer and I try to recreate the sound of the uh, Marshall MG and the thing that comes pretty near is the modern British head and um, which is obviously a um, Marshall head and a, a modern British um, cabinet even though it is the, the larger one, and I have just a single, um, comes pretty close tone-wise, so just have a listen. This is with and without. Okay, and just for the reference here is the rhythm and the dynamic the real amp and again the amp sim could probably get a little more bass and it could really just fiddle around hours for hours with those um, amp sims. Okay, and that's basically how to record an electric guitar with a DI and you could um, play around with hundreds of different settings, amps, cabinets. could also play around here with um, different types of microphones. For example, if you use a condenser microphone, it would sound like that. And you could move it around, like in reality. See how it gets brighter and darker. And also move farther away. You could have 57 style of microphone. Rhythm, very boomy and, and, and bass heavy. You could use different cabinets. And that's also one I would I wouldn't say problem, but you've got so many different amps and um, solutions to create a guitar sound that you really can get lost. I like to record electric guitar um, the old-fashioned way with a with a real amp, so with that one, because I usually tend to get the tone, um, the right tone, before I hit record, and it's not. I would I wouldn't say it's easy easier to record um, electric guitar with a DI, um, just for. Um, the massive amount of, of different um, options you can create. So, yeah, that's basically it. And I hope you see you next time.